Hey guys, gals, everybody. Lester's with us. Mike is with us. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, this is going to be a shorter one. The other one the other night was so much fun, but it was so, so long. <laughs> I mean, I tried to watch it myself and I'm like, ah, this is long. But hey, tonight's going to be simple. Now, there's a couple different reasons why I wanted to do a Halloween broadcast. Um, the first one was because when Kevin and I spoke the other night, I flat out forgot to do something. I bought something specifically for the Halloween broadcast, which was supposed to be Thursday, but tonight's Halloween, so we're going to do it now. I bought a glowing skull <laughs> shot glass. We'll go with the one that's a little bit more sedate here. Isn't that neat? A little bright, I know. But golly jeepers, I am not going to do, I'm not going to forget to use this shot glass on Halloween. <laughs> Even if it does give me epilepsy. <laughs> All right. This is the Cooper's Craft. We did this on Thursday among some other ones. Um, both Kevin and I really like this. And uh, they were talking about it even more uh, online today. I, I was seeing people talk about it and uh, nothing but good. Nothing but good about this, uh, about this bourbon. And I, There's two of them. There's like an 86 proof and there's this one. And this is the 100 proof. And there might be even more than that. I don't know. I haven't looked them up. But... Um, I, I, this is, this is the hundred proof, uh, it, and they say something about it too. I forget that there's something specific about it. They call it something. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Not important. All right. So, uh, let's, uh, let's give this, that, that shot, this skull shot, my glowing skull shot. <laughs> it's Halloween. You're supposed to have fun. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I didn't mean to inhale it. I choke it down the wrong tube. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm -hmm. The vanillas are popping. Um, that caramel's there, that salted caramel. Um, uh, spicy, tasty. Num, num, num. Again, we said this the other night. I'm going to say it again. This isn't one you're going to want to drink every night. Uh, it's like going to Cedar Point. You go there once and you've had your fun and I don't want to go again, right? So this is just, uh, this is just good. Just really, really good. Mm, 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 mm. So last night was trick or treat here at the house. I bet we had somewhere between 200 and 300 kids. I had bought 10 big bags of candy and I went through all of it. I had uh, individual bags of trail mix in the house and um, hi Michael uh, individual bags of trail mix in the house and there were 30 of those in the package and I'm down to six because I started giving those to the bigger kids because they're delicious they're my favorite but also because I was running out of candy so um, I mean 10 bags of candy gone it was amazing and about oh so it was two hours long, and about mm, a half hour or 45 minutes into it, I stopped giving people two pieces. <laughs> it went down to one piece, and that's when I only had four bags in the bowl, and then I had to continue to pour more. It was a crazy night. And I, we, nobody thought it would go like this because last year it didn't, meh, COVID. And then um, this year it was kind of spitty and rainy and, and misty and nasty and... And whatever, but uh, the kids braved it, and the costumes were fantastic. They were really, really good. All right. Oh, uh, I, I, I want to throw this out there, too. Excuse me. Um, I made a film, along with a bunch of other great guys and gals, I think. Anyway, uh, back in 2016, so this is the five-year... I got a hair or something here. This is crazy. I <laughs> Uh, so this is the fifth year anniversary of my film, Dark of the Night. And I have always hesitated to put it out there on streaming media because it's a, it, was, it was designed to be done in surround sound. And it sounds fantastic in a giant movie theater with all the speakers and the deep bass. and all, just It sounds fantastic. You're like wearing sound, right? So I was really hesitant to do that because you take what's supposed to be a theater experience... And you put it on a cell phone with one speaker. And it's just not supposed to be watched that way. But 
It's been five years. The movie hasn't been seen a whole lot in like the last three years after we get done with the festival circuit. So why not? Uh, there's a link on Beautiful Bourbon to, uh, to the movie. If you want to see it, it's like, I don't know, six, seven minutes long. Um, and I did all the editing, all the sound design. You're not going to be able to get all the sound design, the surround sound. But you might enjoy the movie. If you can watch it on a TV, watch it on a TV. Like you can, if you have a Roku, you can get the Vimeo app. Go to your computer or your phone, go to Vimeo, and hit Watch Later. It'll show up on your account on Vimeo, if you have an account on Vimeo, uh, which you can get for free, and you can watch the film there on TV. So if you can, watch it on a screen that's bigger than this, if, if you would. All right. So, okay, moving on. So last night, I was experimenting. Not with bourbon. But with gin, I'm just going to do the preface and then we'll get into this. I, I love gin. I really, really like gin. And this is the Bombay Sapphire East. It's like a special, it's a little punchier and it's got kind of a, an Asian type of tilt to it. And uh, I normally just drink it over ice. I don't mix it with anything. But last night I wanted to try something different. And uh, I started off by adding just a splash of my elder, elder flower, <laughs> call me during a burb cast, added just a little bit of elder flower, uh, and it was, it was good, I liked it, I didn't love it, um, it sweetened it up nicely, it was tasty, um, and I do like elder flower liqueur a lot, I'm not betraying any confidences by telling you that, you know that, um, and this St. Germain is fantastic, um, but I had another little bottle up here and I wanted to try it so I ended up mixing it with the Grand Marnier I tell ya that was tasty I'm just getting bold and wanting to try new things so that's what I did and uh, I, I, just a splash just a little bit and you can play with it but uh, that's something I just wanted to show it to you while I was thinking about it alright tonight we're gonna make one alright um, I'm gonna need this and I'm going to need my Recipes. All right, so there's a couple different things I'm going to try. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. I should have gotten the other one out, but that's okay. Um, I was going to use the Boston shaker, but I got this instead. This is called a Cooper's... Old World Sour. You can find this on their website. I'm going to do it the way they do it. It's a little bit different than a normal whiskey sour. A normal whiskey sour has simple syrup, in, simple syrup, simple syrup in it, um, and just lemon juice. Well, this one is a little bit different. Mm, mm, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So we're going to start off with the Coopers, and we're going to go with one and a half ounces. You can hear the dog drinking over there. He saw me drinking, and now he wants some. <laughs> All right, so we'll do that. Now, we're going to do... I've got fresh limes and fresh lemons, but in the order of tidiness and expediency, I just thought we'd do it this way. Um, I'm going to do half an ounce, which means I'm just putting this about half up of lime juice. And like a moron, I forgot to do the first step. It's all right. It's all right. That's what this is all about, is learning new things and screwing up in front of you. It's okay. So we'll just go ahead and finish putting everything together, and then I'll do it right. Actually, I could probably just do it this way. But I'm not going to. Come on, get in there. I've had a half ounce of lemon juice. Now, normally you don't think about lime and lemon in a whiskey sour, but this is a different recipe. So we just wanted to do something a little different. All right, so I'm going to stop there. And I just happened to bring out the mixing thing. So we're going to pour everything in there because I screwed up. And I forgot my ingredient. Did I leave it on the counter? I did. Hold on.
So with every whiskey sour, of course, you're supposed to be doing the egg white. And I pre-whited my egg, so again, it would be expedient and without mess, and then I left it on the counter over there. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna give that a good shake, just the way it is. All right. Ooh, frothy. And now, I don't wanna put the ice in it, so we're just gonna strain that back in. The whiskey, the lime juice, and the lemon juice without any simple syrup. But now, before I go too much further, I am gonna add the next ingredient. And this is what I like about Halloween is, I'm gonna make it blood red. We add in about three quarter ounces of the syrup from Luxardo cherries. I'm gonna add a little bit more than that because I want this to be red. Blood red, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we'll give it another shake. <laughs> it's talking to me. Ooh, it's frothy. All right. Kevin, hey! I'm finally making a cocktail with the Coopers, and they're watching me do it wrong. <laughs> All right, so now we'll pour in that ice. There we go. All right, and give it one more shake. I'm wanting the edges of this to get, oh, it is already, um, to get kind of frosty. Uh, I want it to get cold. I'm listening to the difference in the ice, what it sounds like as I shake it. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, blood, blood, blood. I've come to suck your old world sour. So where you would normally just use lemon juice and simple syrup, this uses lemon and lime and Luxardo syrup. So, and then you can even put a cherry in it. I did not bring over. Blood, blood. Mm, 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 mm. So egg white first, <laughs> then the Coopers, then the lemon juice, lime juice, and the Luxardo syrup. Give it a good shake all together. Frothy and red like blood, blood. Okay, I'll stop doing that. Mm. That's really good. And that one, you can find the whole recipe on the Cooper's Craft website. I'm sticky. <laughs> and I made a mess. Now, I will tell you that I probably added too much of the Luxardo. I wanted it to be nice and red. Um, if, I mean, if you really like the flavor of the Luxardo cherry syrup, then by all means, put in that full ounce. You might want to go with a half ounce. It'll balance out a little bit better. The aftertaste on this is very, very syrup heavy. Um, so you may want to back it down a little bit. It won't be as red, but you might enjoy it more. It, unless, of course, you like that syrup taste. Up here, it tastes delicious. I get the lemon, I get the lime. In the back, that, that Luxardo syrup is a little overwhelming for me. So, um, another thing I wanted to try, and this is just kind of off the top. 
because I found some other recipes online, um, and I, I don't have all of the, um, all the um, ingredients that I would need. So I just want to experiment a little bit. And um, I guess I better finish this, or I won't be able to do that. Because I didn't bring over another glass. I'm going to have to get another glass. It's not going to be good. All right. No problem. I can do this. All right. So I just wanted to try something. And I don't know if it's even going to be any good. But I saw something online that I really liked. And one of these days I'll make the whole thing. I'll be able to do the whole thing. Uh, but I can't do it today because I don't have all of what I need. So, um, I'm just going to mix this right in the glass. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Fighting with myself. Hey, hey. I know, the song is dancing with myself. You can't take the radio DJ out of the guy. You just can't do it. All right, so uh, with this one, we're going to do right in front of me, <laughs> Cooper's Craft. I already have the cork off. <laughs> oh, silly me. I'm going to do an ounce and a half. I don't know what this is going to be like. This is just, this is just me experimenting and having some fun. The, the original calls for bourbon or whiskey, coffee liqueur, and a nut liqueur. I don't have a nut liqueur, but I do have a couple of different bitters that I can use. So again, I'm just, ooh, mom will be happy I opened up her Kahlua. So I'm just going to go with... Um, Just a little bit of coffee liqueur. This is experimenting. I don't know what this is going to end up with. All right, so I have the, this is a toast and almond bitters. I apparently haven't opened this one yet. Nope, I have not. But I have two different nutty bitters, so I'm going to try them and see which one I want to use. This one's open. Let me try this one first. That's a good that's a good one. That is the black walnut bitters. I may do that one because I just I like it. Why is it so bitter? <laughs> All right. And then this one is the toasted almond. I just picked this one up. So either I'll love it or I won't. Come on. Ooh, we're going to use this one. That's good. <laughs> so we'll go one, two, three, four. Maybe five. All right. Wife keeps saying I'm taking all her eggs, so I bought a, ca a carton of egg whites. Can you buy a carton of egg whites? I didn't know that. I guess you probably could. I just haven't seen it before. That's a good idea. Or you could just buy more eggs. Get like that 18-pack. The thing I did tonight, it was kind of funny. I used an extra large egg, so my egg separator didn't work. I had to do it the old-fashioned way, using the shells. I felt like Julia Child. <laughs> all right, so this is really all there is to it, and I didn't bring over my stir sp spoon. Oh, no, that's not right. I'm sorry, there is more. Lemon juice. We'll add just a little bit of lemon juice. There. Okay. I mean, I found a really cool recipe today, but I just didn't have time to do it. It takes blueberry syrup, and it has this cardamom uh, bitters. So I haven't even opened that yet. I don't even know what that tastes like yet. All right. Wow, that's tasty. So, just as it is, that was 
Cooper's Craft. About a, oh, half ounce of, that's complex. There's so much going on. About a half ounce of um, Kahlua, a little lemon juice, and some um, toasted almond bitters. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. The whole point of this exercise was to just have fun on Halloween. Try some new things. Get you guys thinking about how you can try different drinks with just what you have around the house. You don't have to have toasted almond bitters or black walnut bitters or, or uh, Grand Marnier or, I mean, we're experimenting. Let's try. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be awful. Just a splash. <laughs> I don't know. Again, it's all about experimenting and trying new things and having fun. You may come up with the next drink that's going to be in the Boston Bar Guide, <laughs> which is MrBostonDrinks.com now. I'd drink that. I like that. I'm going to finish that. <laughs> so, um, ah. at the end of the day, I hope you have a fantastic Halloween and it is everything that you want it to be. I dressed up as a alcoholic. <laughs> you know, bourbon is a vegetable. I saw the coolest bottle. It was in a Woodford Reserve bottle when I was down south last week in Louisville. And it had, it was a Woodford Reserve, and on the, on the top it had just a little bit of uh, malted barley. And under that, it had some rye. And under that, about, oh, a little over half the bottle was filled with corn. And they were showing the proportion in the bottle as to what the grains are that go into bourbon. Corn, rye, barley. And I thought it was kind of neat. I'll, I'll post it online when I find it again, uh, the picture that I took. Uh, but it's, it's just cool. And uh, so for that reason, bourbon is a vegetable. <laughs> All right, guys. That's, I told you it'd be short tonight. We're going to keep it short. We're going to get out of here. I want to say thank you for uh, watching. Short one today. Not like Thursday, exactly, Kevin. We're <laughs> that was. Thank you. I mean, I had a blast. I had an absolute ball. But by golly, that's a, that's a hard one to watch again. I watched about uh, half of it and was like, oh, I'll come back to it later. <laughs> it's it's long. This one's a short one. We're done already. Thanks for watching. Get creative. Try doing some things with your bottles that you have. Um, one of the things that you could do if you don't have Kahlua, if you have like three olives, um, espresso vodka. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. You might, and, and that with this and a little whipping cream or th that, the, the vodka, and this with some of the vanilla vodka, the three, uh, three olives vanilla vodka, or maybe um, with um, that uh, peanut butter whiskey, screwball. <laughs> yeah. Garnish it with some coffee beans. <laughs> I'll be at your house for that one. <laughs> All right. Thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. This is a lot of fun. Happy Halloween. I hope you enjoy November. Uh, Thanksgiving is just ahead. Don't do like my friends. Don't put up the Christmas decorations yet. Just wait. Just wait. Let's have Thanksgiving first. Then we'll get into Christmas. Okay. Okay. All right. Take care. See you later.